can disobey Letting audio from Ableton Live into Tractor. Um, so the first thing, it's like old way of MIDI syncing, but go to uh, Tractor's preferences and then hit external sync and make sure this MIDI clock is enabled and then go to controller manager click add add a new generic MIDI and select the outport to tractor virtual outport And then close preferences. Make sure this auto button is disabled. Uh, click this little triangle and turn it on to do something. And then you can go to Ableton. And then go to the Ableton Preferences. And under this Ring Tempo MIDI tab, I want to make sure that Track the Virtual Output Select is under C. And then you can close those preferences and Turn this on. Um, so that's like the old way. And then after you do that process, hit this blank button. And then in uh, Tractor, also hit the link button. And now they're both in sync with the tempo. And MIDI. Um, next, to set up the sound going from Ableton into Tractor, go to your Go and Utilities, and then select the audio MIDI setup. At this plus button to create a new aggregate device. I'll name it test. And then select the sound flower. And then whatever your audio device output is going to be. So in this case, it's that one. And then go into Ableton, go back to the preferences under audio, output device, select the sound file, make sure you turn on all the outputs you want to use. Close the preferences. Create a new audio track. Uh, set the audio to extension out and then select the output devices you want. Um, if you want to use a mini instrument through that audio, um, have your instrument on there and then route that to the audio channel here and turn the monitor to head. And then go back into Tractor and Preferences. Uh, audio setup, you'll select. Uh, 
device we created on the Mac. Now refresh. Factor Network. Taking a while. All right, uh, go back to preferences. to the output device that you selected. It's just a sound card. And then that should be there. Thank you. 